Greetings. This is Live Life Well TV host Robert Landau with another episode of a very popular show here on Live Life Well TV that we lovingly call America's Greatest Personalities. Over the last number of episodes, we've been fine-tuning our focus just a little bit in that we have been presenting per episode a series on great American television game show hosts. And this episode is certainly no different and fits very well into that category. We are going to present some fascinating information concerning the life story of the incredible Mr. Bob Barker. So stay tuned right after this commercial break. Ha! would like to acknowledge the following website, thefamouspeople.com. So what we do in this series is literally paint a character portrait of the personality that we're presenting. And I usually like to start off these shows with some quotes that are directly attributable to the person that we're talking about. Really, it helps you get an idea of who they really are were. So here are a lot of things that the one and only Bob Barker is famous for saying. He once said, I think that age as a number is not nearly as important as health. You can be in poor health and be pretty miserable at 40 or 50, but if you're in good health, you can enjoy things well into your 80s. And in his case, it's beyond. He also said, you can't fool television viewers with dancing girls and flashing lights. Here's another one. I am a vegetarian, he once said. I think there's a strong possibility had I not become a vegetarian, I would not be working now. I became a vegetarian about 25 years ago and I did it out of concern for animals, but I immediately began having more energy and feeling better. Mm. Here's another quote directly attributable to a Mr. Bob, and it goes like this. I can tell you that I'd rather be kissed by my dogs than by some people I've known. <laughs> He also said, nothing gives me quite so much joy as when people tell me they've had their pets neutered or sprayed. He's a big proponent for that, of course. Bob said the following as well, networks decide who will have a chance to do shows, but it is the viewers who make the final decision of who stays and who goes. I am very fortunate in that the television viewers of our country have decided that Bob Barker can stay. Boy, did he get that right. Here's another one. I'll tell you one thing. In what I do for a living, there's no substitute for experience. I don't care how much natural talent you have in the type of show I do. You can depend on surprises. Here's one more. Many people have the idea, he once said, that game shows are easy to come up with and nothing could be further from the truth. Let's continue with a brief look at Bob's childhood and early life. Bob Barker was born Robert William Barker on December 12, 1923 in Darrington, Washington to Matilda Valandra, who was a school teacher, and Byron John Barker, who was an electrical lineman. At six, Unfortunately, Bob lost his father when John fell from a tower after which his mother remarried. 
He has a half brother named Kent Val Valandra from his mother's second marriage. The family moved to Springfield, Missouri in 1941. He passed out of Central High School while he was there. He enrolled in Springfield's Drury College on a basketball scholarship. During World War II, Bob served as a fighter pilot for the U.S. Navy, and after the war, he obtained an economics degree with honors from Drury College. As far as career goes, what an incredible ride. While studying in college, Bob was employed at KTTS-FM Radio. In 1950, he shifted to California, where he hosted his own radio show by the name of The Bob Barker Show. And he did that for no less than six very successful years. While hosting a radio show on KN. X A M in L A. He caught the attention of radio show producer Ralph Edwards, very familiar name there, who liked his voice and the way he interacted with audiences. Bob hosted End of the Rainbow on NBC from 1957 to 1958, along with co-host Art Barker, who uh, would visit places and help people by giving away surprise gifts. In 1967, Mr. Barker hosted another short-lived show on ABC called The Family Game. The show had parents and children answering a series of questions. Points would be awarded for correct answers. At the end, the family with the most points would win a grand prize. In the pilot series of NBC's Simon Says in 1971, Bob had to interact with a huge computer called Simon. The series was produced by Dundas Productions' Wesley J. Cox. Starting from 1980, Bob hosted a series titled That's My Line. Similar to That's Incredible, the program was about amazing and extraordinary stunts. It was discontinued in its second season. Bob produced and hosted the Bob Barker Fun and Games show between 1978 and 1986. It was a blend of truth or consequences and the price is right. In the 1996 comedy Happy Gilmore, which starred Adam Sandler, Barker appeared as himself. His altercation with Sandler in the film won an MTV Movie Award for Best Fight. I didn't know they were giving awards for that, but there you go. After his retirement from his incredible run on The Price is Right, Bob made three guest appearances on the show. His first guest appearance was to promote his autobiography by the name of Priceless Memories. In 2013, he appeared on the show to celebrate his 90th birthday. And on April 1st, 2015, he appeared again as a part of the April Fool's Day famous switch. Bob was invited to numerous talk shows, including Dinah, Larry King Live, the Rosie O'Donnell Show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, The Wayne Brady Show, and The Late Show with David Letterman. He had a minor role in the sitcom Something So Right. He also played cameos on TV series such as The Nanny, The Bold and the Beautiful, and How I Met Your Mother. As far as awards go, uh, well-deserved awards, Barker won 12 Emmy Awards for Outstanding Game Show Host for The Price is Right. He won four Emmys as the show's executive producer. He was given the 1999 Life Achievement Award for Daytime Television. And between, if that's not enough, 2004 and 2008, he was inducted into the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame. Hall of Famous Missourians, and NAB Broadcasting Hall of Fame. Wow. His personal life, 
He was married to Dorothy Jo Gideon from 1945 to 1981. Bob became a vegetarian, as he mentioned before, and would end every episode of The Price is Right, as you might remember, with an animal rights message. He founded DJNT Foundation in 1994. That foundation has funded many animal neutering and rescue programs and has supported the United Activists for Animal Rights. Barker donated, get this, one million dollars to Columbia University School of Law for the study of animal rights. He donated, get this, $2.5 million to PETA for establishing a new office in Los Angeles. We're going to close with two bits of trivia for you, and they go like this. This game show host, Mr. Barker, and animal rights activist stepped down as the host of, remember this, Miss USA universe pageants when its organizers refused to stop giving away fur coats as prize items. Love it. Bob Barker's a saint as far as I'm concerned. And there's this. Ranked number one in a list of 15 best game show hosts compiled by life, Barker missed only four tapings of The Price is Right in his 35-year long career as its host. I don't have anything left to say. I think that's amazing. And a wonderful example of how the human spirit can soar when it's backed by passion and care. Thank you, Mr. Barker for everything you are, everything you've done, all of these awards, and so much more is so well deserved. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. This has been Robert Landau, Live Life Well TV host.